geometrical mittens that we turned into a map of Michigan with the lower peninsula and the upper peninsula. And now what we're going to do is we are going to add some details to give it a little something extra special. So we're going to add some snowflakes around it, like there's snow falling around our mittens. So I have some white paint and I have a very special brush, it's teeny tiny on the end. So you're going to have to be extra careful with these because it's going to be easy to accidentally um, ruin these paint brushes if you press really hard on them. So we need to be extra careful that we just go really lightly, barely touching the paper with them. So I'm going to show you how we're going to use this white paint and this special brush to make snowflakes around our mittens. When we're making these snowflakes, we want to make sure that it's only on the blue. We don't want any snowflakes on the mittens at all. So I'm going to get a little bit, I'm looking in there to make sure that I just get a little bit of paint on the very end of my brush. It's just on the bristles, it's not on the metal really at all. And then I'm going to very gently make an X on my paper. And then I'm going to get a little more paint. And I'm going to make an X going through the other way. So now it's going to go across this way and across this way. And I just made a snowflake. So I'm going to keep going with that. I'm going to get more paint on my brush again and go to a different spot and do the same thing. I'm going to make an X and then I make an X going the other way. And I'm going to make snowflakes all over my paper. Again, I'm being very careful with the brush. I'm not pressing very hard on it, just very gently. And making snowflakes all over my paper. I want to fill up that blue space with snowflakes so it looks like it's a really snowy day out. Now when I'm making the snowflakes over here, I have to be careful that I don't get my hand in those snowflakes. So I might turn my paper a little so that I don't have to worry about getting my hand in the wet paint. Notice how I'm holding my brush down close to the end, kind of like I would a pencil. It makes it so it's easier for me to control it. I can make nice little lines. If I hold it way up here, it's going to be hard to make those little lines. So I'm going to scooch my fingers close to the bottom of it and make those snowflakes. Once you have all your snowflakes made on your paper, you're going to fill in that whole thing. Then if you want to, you can choose, you don't have to, but you can make one snowflake on your mitten to show where we live in Spring Lake. So you can make a little snowflake show where we live if you'd like to. But no other snowflakes should be on your mittens. All the rest of the snowflakes should be floating around in the sky behind your mittens. So you can go ahead and make those snowflakes and keep going.